Hello, welcome back. All right, so we are continuing onwards with the palace. One, two, three, four. See, now there's voice acting. That's weird. <laughs> oh, money! How do I love thee? <laughs> Let me count the ways. <laughs> like, I really gotta say that it's the voice actors for this. Must have had really good direction, because um, they don't just say, like, the lines, but they add, like, the snorting effects or any other vocal effects that they're supposed to for each of the different um, beast races or whatever else the uh, player is, or the person is doing the voice for. And it's it's really good. I've always liked the voice acting for Disgaea. With you to run my military campaign, I shall become the next overlord. <laughs> Long time no see, Hog Miser. Who's there? <laughs> Don't tell me you've forgotten me. Who are you? Laharl, the heir to the throne, King Krichevskoy's son. Oh, yeah. Ever since the king died, I knew I was forgetting something. Ah, so it was you, Prince. You call yourself a vassal? You know how demons are. You always say not to be so picky about the details. I'm not a detail. Oh, don't be so self-centered. I'm glad you helped refresh my memory. It was nagging me, like a fish bone stuck in my throat. <laughs> I like how he has, just has money signs randomly throughout his uh, text. F fish bone? You! Well, what do you want? Money. What do you mean, what do I want? Now that my old man's dead, I'm the Netherworld's next overlord! I'm taking back everything that's mine, and the rest of your fortune, too. <laughs> Don't push your luck. Just because you're the king's son, it doesn't mean you can do whatever you want. It's strength that counts in another world. If you want what is now mine, you'll have to take it by force. That's exactly what I had in mind. Enough talk! Let's go! Fighting over money and power. Were the angels right about demons? If they really are evil, then... Alright, here we go. I didn't actually think we were on the uh, boss fight at this point. I thought there was still one more level before the boss fight. I did way less damage to those guys with my star than I did on the last map. These guys are just standing there. Is that why I'm doing less damage to them? No, these ones took normal damage. I thought they might be doing the, the defend action every turn, which is why they're not moving. They're just blocking, so I had to g go through them in order to get to the boss. <laughs> you lose. I'm taking everything as promised. You, you can't! I won't be able to survive without my money! <laughs> <laughs> no, not my money! Kill me! Kill me! I'd rather die than have you take my money! Well then, I'll just finish you off now. <laughs> How cruel! Not only is he taking his money, but his life too! You didn't seem to mind when I killed, like, the 47 different guards in order to get to him. You didn't say a thing. I can't let this happen. If worse comes to worse, I'll stop him with my own two hands. Wait, you bully! Who are you, Ha 
Hot Miser's son. He's got a crown too. Let go. I won't go easy on you just because you're a kid. Hey kid, why are you risking your life for this greedy pig? You want to duck? Don't you understand, Laharo? This is love. Here we go again. Love, love, love. Is that all you've got in your puny little head? You damn love freak. No, it's not. She also has flowers. You can call me whatever you want, but why is it that you refuse to believe in love? You reject it because you're afraid of it. Isn't that right? Laharo, my son. Mm. What do you think of me? Do you love me? No, I hate you. <laughs> a typical answer for a demon? Which is fine for now, but one day... Now she's got me thinking about my old man. My old man, huh? What was he trying to t Ah, crap. I clicked it by stupid. mistake. Why am I even thinking about this? It's all that love freak's fault. Forget it. I've wasted enough of my time. Huh? You're not gonna finish him? It wouldn't make me any richer. Alright, start taking the good stuff. But make sure you leave some behind for them. Laharo. Hmm. Hogmiser was deeply moved by Laharl's kind gesture. And he joined your party without your consent. You also received 5,000 HL. Master Lamington, I finally understand. Those words you spoke... Master Lamington? I gotta stop hitting the button so quickly. What is it, Flan? The angels told me that the demons are all evil. Is that true? What do you think? Hmm. I've never met one, so I don't know. <laughs> See, he's got a little smile now. Just a teeny tiny little smile. Listen carefully, Flan. Now it's gone. There is no such thing as absolute evil or absolute good. The angels assume that they are good and the demons are evil. That is an unfortunate misconception. Demons do have love. The angels, and in fact most demons, just do not realize it. If we can guide them, if we can make them see, then one day... Mr. Lamington, I will accompany Laharo for a little while longer. He is selfish, self-centered, and stubborn. And those aren't his only shortcomings. But I have discovered a hint of kindness in his heart. Oh, we got the, the uh, title of the chapter. Title of the chapter. Hint of kindness. It may be small right now, but I have great hope that he will learn to love. So, Master Lamington... Please forgive my digression. Roaming the wild frontier, Etna is challenged by the Dark Chef Howe. A cooking battle deathmatch begins that will shake the Earth's foundation. Sounds cheesy to me, dude. This week's dish, Cajun style gumbo. And the ingredients, the pretty squad. Dude, us? Etna struggles to resist the powers of the dark side of cooking. But then, Ajikage, the ninja cook, appears. Dude, what in the world? Next on Fire Chef Cooking Gal Etna, episode four. Etna, 120%. With a pitch of murderous intent. You're hopeless, dude. Our little Flan. She managed to escape the grasp of the demons. Hm. She probably used her feminine charm. <laughs> what? <laughs> 
Yeah, that. Yeah, she's got that. You're right. I'm wrong. She, no, you're right. You got. She got that. You're right. So, Krachevskoy was already dead. What I don't understand is why Flan hasn't returned to Celestia. Hmm. Is it possible that she's trying to use the demons to gain control of Celestia? That's it. That has to be it. There's no other explanation. Ugh. I won't allow it. My plan shall not be interfered with. Still, this demon den is so filthy. Dude, could you look more evil? Like, everything about your character design is, I am evil. It reeks of evil. Just like you. Hmm? What is this book? Don't demons know how to put things away when they're done with them? <sighs> what kind of book is this? My god! I think they're trying to, like, insinuate that it's, like, an arrow book. If you know what arrow books are, then... That's all I'm going to say about it. This page! This page! All these pages! No voice acting for this part? Huh? I mustn't. I mustn't fall for the demon's trap. Those cunning fiends. But I, Archangel Volcanus, will not fall prey to such a dirty trick. Flan, where are you? Is he in King Krochesko's castle? Because that's what it looks like. Oh, I hear her sleeping. Hmm? Ah, I found you. There is only one person who makes a noise like that when she sleeps. Why do you know that? No, seriously, you, you need to answer why you know that. And also you said she has feminine charm and you know what she sounds like when she sleeps? I think you have a lot to answer for there, Mr. Volcanus. <laughs> FBI, open up! Ooh. Flan, I'm taking your pendant. Rot in the depths of the netherworld. Ah. Episode 4, Gift from an Angel. A pendant? So her pendant uh, is what allows her to live in the underworld, because she is an angel. morning and what are you trying to say that one of us stole your pendant no if it were you you would steal it impartially right hmm S so you do get it then <laughs> what do you want me to do I want you to help me find my pendant huh do I look like a servant boy to you no but What's wrong, Blonde? You look tired. Y yes The Seraph gave that pendant to me before I came to the netherworld. An angel trainee like me cannot stay in the netherworld very long without that pendant. At this rate, I will lose all of my energy and eventually die. Hmm, is that so? Well, that sucks. Prince, what you gonna- Like I should care. She came to assassinate my old man in the first place. That's our prince. Even capable of turning his back on such a helpless little girl. Uh, uh, of course! l, l Harl? W what It's the truth, isn't it? l Harl, if you can find my pendant, I will give you something good. Something good, you say? Hmm. If I wanted it, I'd just steal it from you. You would use violence on weak little me? Give it up already. I'm a demon. It doesn't matter who you are, even if you were old, maimed, or diseased. F 
fine. Then my gift will never be yours. What's that supposed to mean? Tell me! Are you trying to provoke me? Hm, fine. I've got some time to kill. Laharl? But, let me make one thing clear. I'm not doing this for your sake. And when I find the pendant, that something good is mine. Thank you, Laharl. My m controller just unplugged for a split second. Really worried me You're when it an happened. Angel. You shouldn't be thanking demons. I do what I want when I want. Remember that. Huh. I'm really glad it didn't crash on that disconnect there. Maybe it didn't disconnect for long enough. Alright. Uh, that will be it for this one. Come back next time and we will go out and find the evil Volcanus and rescue Flan's pendant from his dirty, dirty grasp. I'll see you guys all in the next one.